leading from Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson Hole? Jacks just Jackson? I don't know. I'm here. We're here together. Surprise! I'm back. Last we met. Honestly, I can't remember what the last video was. If I put a Q&A between now and then, I'm sorry. But last time we met on an adventure, I had just finished up my 29 or 29 at resting challenge here at Jackson Hole on Snow King. And it was a doozy, but in the best way and had a great time. Well, it's been, you know what? It's been a whole month, almost. It's been about a month and I'm back. I'm back because that was just a very, te like that was, that, brain, that trip was mainly to do 29 or 29 and all the surrounding and various and sundry um, events associated with it. I really wanted to explore this area. I really want to go to uh, Grand Teton National Park. I would really like to explore the surrounding forests and mountains. And so I was like, that's my next stop. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back and we're going to, we're going to take Jackson by a storm or hopefully it won't storm. It's supposed to storm. <laughs> but yeah, so I flew in this morning and I just like, it was such a whirlwind, you guys. I was, this time yesterday, I was at the airport in New York City. I was at LaGuardia Airport after spending a whole day at Peloton Studios, which had such a good time at. And the flight was delayed. I got home super late. I slept for like four hours and I got right back to the airport and I came here. <laughs> it's just how it worked out. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? We make it work. I don't know why I need sunglasses inside at night, but here we are. Anyway, so I'm a little tired <laughs> in the best way, but I'm a little tired and I had booked myself this afternoon outing because I knew there was time between when I could check in and um, when I got in. So I drove up an hour to this ranch. I think it's Turpine Ranch, if that's how they pronounce it. I'm not sure. You guys know I'm terrible at pronouncing things. And I had a lovely lunch and also went on a horse, uh, horseback trail ride. So that was really, really fun. I took some little snippets. I didn't take a lot of footage, you guys. I was just, honestly, I just wasn't like focused on the filming, but I had a really good time. And I'll show you the, what I did capture for you here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are buffalo. Pretty sure. Yes, they are. Oh. OMG! I've n have I seen buffalo in person before? I don't think so. They're real far away. So I have you on like super zoom on my phone, but... Cool! Nice way to start the day. I can't look, I gotta look at where I'm going. You look, I'll drive. <laughs> Good plan. 
And now I finally, there was kind of like, there's traffic in Jackson. I'm so tired. I don't know what I'm doing, booking all these things all back to back. Don't ask me why. You know why? Because I got a really sweet deal on my airplane ticket to Jackson using Miles. And it was only for this one day at this one time. And I really wanted to, to get that deal because it was so good. So that's why we're here. Anyway, so I've booked yet another thing for myself, which I actually have to leave for now. <laughs> and it's the rodeo. They have a rodeo here. So when I was climbing 29 and 29, we were all, like everybody climbing together was remarking how we could hear the rodeo Friday night. And it was fun to hear it. And you could almost kind of see the stadium in parts. And I was like, that's just so neat. And I thought if I, you know, if I make a plan to come back here, I want to do that. I want to go to the rodeo. I've been to a rodeo before, just once before, out in Utah. It was a hoot and hollering good time, and I'm sure tonight will be no different. So, I got a boogie. We're going to go do that, and uh, yeah, let's go to the rodeo. Oh, before we do, I am going to show you where I'm staying here at the Alpine House. It's in Jackson proper, like it's in town. Uh, so, I have a little footage, a little tour for that. You can basically see the whole room behind me, but... Roll on the tour. Look at this. This is where we're staying. This is the Alpine house. It's super cute. I don't know where to put my car. <laughs> it's the only consideration. But other than that, look how cute it is. I'm excited. All right, you guys. Room tour time. Everybody loves a good room tour. This is the garden level something. I forget what the name of the room is. Please forgive me. But uh, it's garden level. King. Garden level king. I think that's what she said. It's got a little uh, gas fireplace, which seems pretty nice. It's pretty really cold here at night, so I might actually use it. Look at this little rocking chair. They're not free snacks, unfortunately. You have to pay for that. But look, they have ritual chocolate all the way from good old Park City. Oh, I love that. So awesome. Love to see ritual branching out. Um, there is this little patio situation, but there's absolutely no furniture on it. So I don't, I don't really know what that is. And we're sort of sub-level. So, you know, it's all good. And then the bathroom's pretty, pretty simple for the most part. You got your vanity and your sink and your toilet. But then look at this big old bathtub. I feel like there might be a morning bath in my future. I don't know if I'm going to be too tired tonight. Um, because I have something fun planned that I'm gonna have to leave for pretty soon actually but this is super cozy and I'm excited about it okay I'm gonna go grab my gear and we'll we'll, uh, we'll get a move on and now now we will go to rodeo okay let's go this is I, I don't have the right wear I've, if it's anything like the rodeo was in Utah people had like cowboy hats and boots and they were like all into it I don't have any of that I'm basically probably just wearing some iteration of this <laughs> but it's fine we'll go with it all right here we go my buttons is really smudgy I apologize um I'll give you a better look around I'll try I have a very tight schedule I don't know I packed my schedule so tight but um try to give you a little look around like the town center in the morning before I head out for a new adventure. Uh, but uh, it's cute. I, I did walk around and enjoy it a bit after the 29 29 event, but I gave myself permission to stop filming because I was so tired. Uh, but yeah, we'll go have a gander tomorrow because it's just cute to see. And uh, I'll clean my lens before the rodeo starts. Okay. Well, we're getting close. You can tell by the, the twang. <laughs> I love it. Look how pretty this night is, too. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from the Fighter North Flats are right here at the Grand Teton. Wyoming welcomes you. Multi event cowboy right here. We see him in the bareback ride as well as the bull riders. Alright, up and coming for right here's the Jackson Hole. Let's do it here. 
We host about 40 rodeos every summer. Now our cowboys and cowgirls, they are shooting for year-end prize at the end of the year, top of the standings. They're going to win a trophy saddle, trophy, trophy belt bucket, yeti coolers, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Each and every ride is important. It's up to you, go. There we go. Start a little bit a little early, guys. Yeah, fix it on. Got a chance to stop the clock right here. Now all these guys have to hold on to is what we call a bareback grid that looks like a suitcase handling. <laughs> Give me the set going right here. Oh, there we go. The bareback right here. It is going to be in effect. Here's the southbound drive, so we got a hold of the heels are moved above to point that horse's shoulders throughout the first jump. Can't touch it with the free hand, can't double grab with the free hand. Come on, Mason. There we go. Right. Here's the people now, Cowboy. Come on, Mason. Oh, oh. oh my God. Calls Weldon. Grueling is the color right there. There you go. Oh, good turn. Oh, the light coming out. That's all right. Make it up right here. Right here. Made it back. That was fun. It was different than the rodeo I've been to before. So, the one that I went to in Utah, this one here in Jackson, they do it three times a week for the whole summer. So that's a lot, right? I feel like I might not be 100% correct about this, but if my memory serves me. The one in Utah was only like a, a one or two nights total. I, it's, I'm not like, it's one particular place in Utah, it's not like all of Utah. But it was like a really big production, like a really big deal. They opened the rodeo with a guy parachuting in with a huge American flag attached to his back. <laughs> like, just parachuted him right into the arena. And then um, there was like, they did the royalty there and they did, um, if, you're not, if you're not familiar, they like, um, they vote for a rodeo queen, I think is, I don't know. And it was just a lot more sideshow stuff. They had like rodeo clowns too. And I don't know, this was seemed a little bit more like, like serious and man, it was packed. They must, they must do a pretty good business. Uh, but it was, it was really fun. I enjoyed myself. I do not like watching. It makes me very anxious to watch the little, little kids on the, on the bowls. I do not like it. It's like kids that are like my kid's size. Maybe not quite as young as five, but like almost, you know, Cece would be almost eight. I think the youngest were eight tonight. That's not my favorite to watch. I'm just like, no. <laughs> it makes me so anxious. But uh, they, oh, everybody was fine. Nobody got, didn't seem like anybody got seriously hurt. One guy, an adult, got flung off the, I can't remember, it was a horse. And um, he was kind of hobbling off to the side for, he looked a little like he was in the hurt locker. But he got up, you know. So, I don't know. I wonder what the rate of injury is with these. This seems like... Talk about intense sport. Wow. My favorite, I think, was the barrel races. I like watching the horses go fast. And it was all women who did that. I don't know if that's, like, traditional or not. but So it was fun. I had a really good time. It's been a very, very long day. Oh, my gosh. I'm ready for bed. So I have more adventures, more Jackson tourist adventures to take you on tomorrow. We have a little bit of wiggle room in the morning, so I'm going to sleep in. Do some yoga, like try to, and then we have a fun adventure plan in the afternoon. And I'm pretty sure that this um, hotel does a nice breakfast, so I'm looking forward to that. If I get up early enough and I feel like it, I might go for a run. I don't know. We're just going to play that by ear. Really, I just want to let myself sleep for as long as possible. So I'm going to do that. And I will see you for more fun tomorrow.
Good night. Good morning. Hello. We're still in Jackson for a minute. Woke up, slept so well. <laughs> Felt really good. Did like a normal night's sleep. Did my yoga, my whole routine. Um, packed up, finished some work. And then the Alpine House offers breakfast with the stay, like made to order. So um, I took some clips of that. And also I show you a little bit of the like common areas. So I'll put that footage in here. So breakfast is included with your stay. And you get to um, fill out a little menu, I guess. And uh, yeah, this is the, what it looks like here. Look at this delight. I didn't show you any of the inside of the. It's like a little lodge. It's real not pretty. Look at that. And it's a little kitchen where they prepare breakfast. They have this library sitting room over here. And the rooms are just kind of spread out all over, um, which is interesting. And they have this really nice front, front yard, a little patio. You can sit up there for breakfast if you like. It's just lovely. Now we are heading. I have like. 15 minutes before I have to get in the car and go. I'm going on a scenic river float down the Snake River today. They have rapids so you can do whitewater rafting. I just wanted to keep it like pretty low key. So I'm doing it and it's got lunch and everything included like a picnic lunch on the river. So that's the plan for today. And I just really wanted to show you the town before I left because I'm not sure it's possible I'll come back. I do need to get some food, like some groceries. So it is possible I'll come back. But just in case I don't, I wanted to make sure I showed you at least a little bit of the town. And I might grab like a coffee or something. And then I gotta hightail it. I gotta drive like 15 minutes to get to the um, whitewater rafting company place. It's not, I'm not doing whitewater rafting. The rafting company. But yeah, I'll flip you around so you can see. Right, just like at Grand Lake, they have the wooden like boardwalk-esque sidewalks. Is this a mountain town thing? I don't know. Anyway, it's just lots of schmancy shops, if I'm being honest. Lots of food. Uh, but it's real pretty. Oh, and wait, you can see the mountain I climbed up. Again, I'm gonna show it to you. For 29 or 29. It's like when people run a marathon, they tell you like every other minute that they ran a marathon. <laughs> Look at that little guy. So here you can get a better sense of it. It's definitely bigger than Grand Lake, but just, you know, quaint for sure. For sure, for sure. We're gonna pop in here because it's real convenient. So the spot not only has coffee and food, but it has a liquor license. It's like a double as a bar. I think that's so cool. They've got some grand and characters. I got a huckleberry donut to save for tomorrow. We're just gonna pop over to Town Square, I'll show you that really quick, give you a little look at all the shops. When I was here the day after the challenge, I did like browse and look around. I didn't buy anything, but it was just fun to look around and I had some really good food. I ate a burger place. It was tasty. Now, but if I remember to put it in, I will. So they have, and I sat in the town square for a while, and somebody was um, playing music. So, you know, just a cute, cute downtown kind of vibe. We'll walk past the town square, and then I, I do have to head out um, to the car. But, oh, look, I didn't notice the stage coach before. That's fun. Uh, so they have these four arches at the town park, the square park. Town Square Park, and they're all with moose antlers. Moose shed their antlers, if you're not familiar, so it's not like they saw them off at the moose. They just, they're found. And so here you can see the uh, situation. Really cool. These are all antlers. Elk antler arches. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't know. They've been here since 1960. I missed this plaque last time I was here. They have a memorial, like a veterans memorial in the center. It's really lovely. That place is supposed to be really famous. The Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. Um, there's lots of restaurants and 
you know, it's a nice place. Yeah, that'll be my still. Anyway, I'm sorry for the rush. It's very crowded, as you can see. It was very crowded when I was here last month, too. It's a very popular destination. So, you know, they've got a lot to offer with outdoorsy stuff and fine dining and, you know, everything in between. Church. I feel like there's got to be some history behind that building. Huh, it's beautiful. All right, here we are. Here, you guys. These are the boats we're gonna go in. So exciting! Look how beautiful it is. So we're loading up the boats. I'm guessing we're going in the direction of the current. I'm excited. Met some nice folks already. Um, I'll show you the boats in a second, but. Really nice day. Hopefully the weather holds. I meant to put my sandals on, but I forgot in my haste. I was running a little late. But, uh, yeah, nice day. Here's the boats and our guides. Jackson Hole includes Moose, it includes South Park, the home of the Duck Yeah, it includes Yeah, all those things. So we're for the beavers that were here and the big fur rush that happened back in the day. I know that everything besides that trail is private property, so you can't really see it. Oh, there you go. Right there. Do you see the marmot? Look at him. Oh my gosh. You see his tail? These are the yellow belly marmots. So yeah, the water does not get up that high. Apparently that's glacial erosion. Uh, this is glacial erosion. Oh, there it is. So this whole valley here is actually a glaciated valley. Uh, meaning that back in the day, whenever you believe the last ice age was, there was a big glacier here. About 2,000 feet deep at the deepest part. And it, it stretched over the whole Jackson Hole Valley that we were just talking about. Uh, and it, it actually carved it out. We're doing that. We've got signatures. Oh, this good day. A nice little spot. I mean, lunch with a view. Can't beat it. So, Grovance, if you see the sign, probably up on the road, it looks like Gross Ventura. Yeah, uh, it's pronounced Grovance. Um, so, those are the two, two other ranges the Tetons and then the Snake River Range. This close to you right here, you can see a white head. Oh. Yep. <laughs> it's just hanging out. Turn the car off so it's not so loud. Well, my friends, 
We are ending our time in Jackson. I learned on the float today that Jackson Hole refers to the whole area, like including, I think it's five different towns, Wilson, Jackson, Moose, a couple others, I can't remember, <coughs> excuse me, can't remember the name off, off the top of my head, and Jackson is the name of the town. That's it. So we are ending our time here in Jackson. It was fun-filled, jam-packed, a really good time. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this leg of the trip. My uh, Wyoming adventure is not ending here. I am heading into the park uh, now. I'm going to maybe let it <laughs> stop raining just a little bit because uh, I am camping. I am camping tonight. But that will be uh, next week's uh, video for you to so see how the adventure, adventure continues. I hope you enjoyed coming with me today and yesterday. I've really enjoyed sharing with you. It's so beautiful here. It's just, and the people are nice and, oh man, it's just a good time. I've just had a really good time and, and I look forward to uh, spending some time more in the nature part now. Not that I haven't, I mean, I've been on a river and, and horseback trail riding, but you know, we we're getting into the thick of it now, so uh, stay tuned for that if you like to see that kind of content. And I hope, hope, hope you all well. I'm wishing you happy trails and just a beautiful, wonderful day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Thank you for watching. Take very good care. Bye.